Hi, this is Rob Knight, and uh, I'm going to do a video for you today showing you how to set up and use batch processing in Olympus Viewer 2 software, specifically for RAW files. I did a video the other day showing how much better the uh, files from the Olympus OMD EM5 look out of Olympus Viewer 2 than they do out of a regular Lightroom conversion from the RAW file. So this is going to be how to set it up and um, end up with 16-bit TIFF files from your original RAW. So the first thing we want to do is select a RAW image and um, I'm in Olympus Viewer 2 in the browser window. Okay. You don't want to hit the RAW tab. You can make adjustments in the RAW tab but you can't save a batch processing file from the RAW editing window. You want to click on the regular edit window and uh, you do have some editing tools here um, tone and saturation and sharpness and that kind of thing. I just wait and do all that stuff in Lightroom. Um, so I'm going to hit the RAW tab. In this particular case I'm going to make a batch processing file that will apply the natural picture mode to RAW files. I'm going to leave everything else like it is out of the camera. You can see uh, when I open the white balance panel everything is as shot, contrast as shot, um, all that stuff. So that way if I'm making any adjustments in the camera shot to shot all those same adjustments will be applied to my RAW file just like they were the JPEG uh, preview that I saw in the back of the camera. So I'm just going to open up picture mode and even though it was shot with the natural picture mode I'm going to make the change here to natural and um, it won't really make any adjustment to the image because it was shot with the natural picture mode. So that's the only change I'm going to make make for this particular batch processing file. If you wanted to make changes for contrast and sharpness and that kind of thing, then you can make all your changes here before you save your batch processing file. Okay, so the the preview's updated and we're all ready to go. I'm going to click on the little floppy disk icon here and you can see my option here, save batch processing file. Okay. So we open that up. I would name this uh, natural, uh, maybe natural picture mode, something like that. Um, any changes that you make will be listed here in the uh, edit processing box. You could just check all those or uncheck ones if you didn't want to save them. Um, in this particular case, uh, changing the raw picture mode is the only change I made, so I, that is going to stay checked. Uh, and you can see in my list of uh, batch processing files here that I already have one called natural, so I'm not going to save that again, but you would just hit the save button and you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the browser window. I'm not going to save the changes to this particular file. And now I'll show you how to apply that batch processing file. So select all the images that you want to batch. In this case I've just got a little folder full of raw files. Um, I'm going to click on the first one and then scroll to the bottom, hold the shift key and click on the last one to select them all. You could also do a command or control A to select them all. Um, it's not going to apply anything to your movie files or your JPEGs and there a little dialog will come up saying hey we can't batch process JPEGs and that's fine so if you wanted to just select uh, a whole folder full of images that had raw and JPEGs it's it's not gonna hurt anything so I've got all my images selected and I go up here to the little magic wand and click batch processing so you can see your selected images here you can also do it by the folder if you didn't want to go through all this once you have the batch processing set up you can just open uh, viewer to select the folder and then go from there rather than having to go back in and, and edit anything. Now we're going to pick the batch processing file that we just made. So click on the folder here and here's your list of your OBF files which are the batch processing files. Click natural and it'll tell you exactly what it's going to do. It's going to apply the picture mode natural. Everything else is going to be just like it was set in the camera. So that's that's great. It's not going to change anything else. So we'll open that um, save in. I'm going to, uh, in the same folder that my raw files are in, I'm going to make a new folder, call it TIFFs. Okay, so now I've got my NYC folder and then I've got a folder inside of that that has the TIFF. So now I'll have my raw files in a folder and within that same folder I'll have my 16-bit TIFFs. Make sure you choose 16-bit TIFF. Um, none of these other settings really apply. I keep the resolution at 300. That's the uh, default. And click Save. Uh, crop as aspect ratio, yes. That'll keep the pictures the same as they were from the camera. 
Uh, and that's it. All you have to do is wait till we're finished processing. It takes a long time. Okay, so I would set this up and let it roll and then go eat, go for a walk, do something because the downside of the Olympus Viewer 2 software is it really does take a long time to process files. But what you end up with is a, is a great 16-bit TIFF that has the most quality that I think you can get out of the files from the, uh, the EM5 or the EPL5. These are actually from the EPL5, which uses the same sensor as the uh, EM5. That's it. If you have any questions, please drop me a note at rob at Rob Knight Photography or leave me a comment on this video. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.